Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix a lot of icon problems that you may have with your Windows operating system. Let's say for instance uh, your icons may be too large or distorted or maybe the icons have disappeared or, or something of that nature. And I'm going to show you how to rebuild the icon uh, database cache um, and, and repair that so you can actually get your icons back up to the way they should be. So the first thing I would always say first is always look at look at the obvious really and that is right click on your desktop and make sure that you've got show icons here. That's if they've disappeared. If that is not on then obviously your icons will disappear. Okay. So make sure that is the first thing. Now obviously these may be distorted or something like that or, or just maybe they have disappeared and you can't put icons on there. It's all gone corrupted for some reason. Um, so let me just show you what you can do. The first thing you need to do is to show hidden files. So you need to come into My Documents. Now this is Windows 7, so this is going to work for Windows 7, Windows XP and Windows Vista. But I'll show you how to do it on Windows XP, it's going to be slightly different. So Windows Vista and Windows 7, this will be the uh, route you need to take. My Documents, okay. Once you're in My Documents, come to Organize and then Folder and search options in there you need to change this option in view and change it to show hidden files and folders by default it's on that okay so you need to make sure it's in show hidden files and folders and drives okay then apply an okay right so apply okay and then you should be okay to go once we've done that we're going to close it off go to my computer C drive and then go into uh, users and then pick the actual user file account which is corrupted so in this case it would be mine Brightech and then application data you can now see a grayed out sort of area you need to go in here that's the show a hidden file okay click on that then you want to come into local now this is your icon cache database now you can see it's grayed out uh, and it's just like semi invisible but that's because we've showed the hidden file and what you need to do is delete this file and this will create correct any problems with your icons database cache okay this will fix a lot of the problems that you've got okay so in that case just delete like so and it will say do you want to delete say yes okay and that will be it reboot the PC and it will build a new icon database cache and that should fix a lot of your problems with icon related um, issues that you've got there okay so I'm just going to uh, undo that because I want to show you another tool or another version that we need to look at which is Windows XP so let me just uh, restore this I've also got a program here called icon refresh now maybe you don't want to go in there uh, and actually do all that sort of stuff well there's a little application you can use click on yes and this is a, a, a great little application if you don't want to do it all manually yourself so basically what this is going to do um, you must have full administrator rights there as you can see run through the on screen uh, what you need to do and basically you just um, push enter in a stage as you can see there wants you to push either Y or N if you push Y it will do the whole lot of user accounts all the ones that have got um, icon databases or you can just do the perform on the one that's corrupted say this is the corrupted one we would push N at this stage okay and that would actually um, like so as you can see pushed in it's deleting the icon cache and deleting it's basically the same thing that we've done there okay it's doing it all for us and, and now even say push reboot I'll put this uh, link for this little applicator up on my site this works with Windows XP Windows Vista and Windows uh, 7 okay as you can see we're in Windows 7 now and uh, we're going to reboot now so I'm just going to reboot and that will be all fixed now let me just come down and show you Windows XP because Windows XP is slightly different obviously so what you need to do is come into my documents go tools folder options okay and then from there just get rid of this folder options view 
and then make sure it's on show hidden files and folders okay once you've got that in you're good to go close it off come into my computer again in the C drive and then we want to go into documents and settings and then the account that you've got a corrupted icons with maybe they disappeared same thing icons have disappeared or stuck or whatever it may be okay you can't create them go into rude boy or the account that you've got application uh, data or you've got local settings we want to go into local settings here not application data yet okay so you can see it's grayed out we're going to go in there it's not grayed out it's sort of semi invisible that's because it's hidden and now we want to go into application data and once we get in there you can see the icon cache file there okay we need to delete that and reboot the system and that will sort out um, any problems that you've got okay like so reboot the system and you should be up and running now as you can see Windows 7 has rebooted and it's refreshed all that um, uh, cache of the, the icon cache for the operating system okay so I hope this is what uh, been useful for you and helps you out and fix your problem with your icons I keep getting messages saying I've got problems with my icons so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do it okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel show your support any questions stick a comment up there or send me a message and I'll do my best to answer them for you thanks very much for watching bye for now